We're ready for the jury? All right, thank you. All right, you have a seat. Your next question, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. King, uh, yes. before we went on break, we were discussing uh, uh, Friday, March uh, 6th, 2015. Right. Um, after you left uh, the house that evening, when did you, when did you next see Ms. Hurd? Sunday the 8th. And where did you see Ms. Hurd? At the house. What were your typical hours? Monday to Friday from 7 or 8 a.m. till the end of play each evening, early evening usually. Why were you at the house that Sunday? I was called to the house by one of Mr. Depp's assistants. And about what time did you arrive at the house? Around 2 o'clock, 2.30. Who was there when you arrived? Um, Debbie Lloyd was there. David Kipper was there. Amber Heard was there. Jerry Judge was there. And I think, I think by now probably everybody's familiar, but can you just very quickly say who those who those people are? Sure. Uh, Debbie Lloyd was a nurse. David Kipper was Dr. David Kipper. Ms. Hurd was Ms. Hurd, and Jerry Judge was head of security. And when you arrived at the house uh, on Sunday, March 8th, 2015, uh, what did you do? I just parked up and went into the house. And did you observe anything when you went into the house? Yeah, I mean, initially I walked into the front door. Uh, initially I heard, rather than saw anything, I could hear pretty hysterical sobbing, crying, um, which sounded like misheard to me. I heard Jerry Judge's voice. There's a few steps as you go up into the house so you can't immediately see um, what's going on. But, so I went up the steps. I could see then Miss Hurd over on the right-hand side, over towards the TV room with Jerry Judge. David Kipper was in the kitchen area, which was pretty much directly ahead as you walk up the, those steps. And were you able to visually see Miss Hurd? Yes. And you were able to hear her as well? Absolutely. How would you describe her demeanor? Hysterical. Probably the best way to describe it, um, crying a lot and, you know, just just crying uncontrollably, I think it's fair to say. And how would you describe uh, Jerry Judge's demeanor when he was speaking with her? He was keeping her calm, saying, it's all right, love, it will be all right. You know, Jerry was good, like, you know, big heart, Jerry, he's a good guy. He was He, he was calm. Jerry was always calm. Well, mostly. And what did you do next? Um, I saw they were engaged across a way there, so I went into the main kitchen area, which, as I said, was just directly ahead of those main steps, and spoke to David Kipper. 
And following that conversation, what did you do? Well, he told me that um, Mr. Depp had objection here, sir. All right. Uh, Your Honor, it's, well, maybe we approach. Okay. Uh, so you, you can answer the question. What, what did you do next? So I spoke to David Kipper, who was in the kitchen area, seemingly rummaging through a bin. Um, he said he was that Mr. Depp had sustained an injury to his finger, one of his fingers, and he was looking for a, the fingertip that, that had, it said it had been severed. And so I said, I said, well, shall I help you? You know, as one would. And he said, yeah, that would be a good idea. I left him in the kitchen. He said there was a lot, lot more damage downstairs. So I, I went to, you know, we split up. He was left him in the kitchen. I went downstairs to, to search. Uh, did, at some point, was Mr. Depp's fingertip found? Yes. Who found it? I did. And where did you find it? Downstairs in that, the bar area. The, um, the games room bar area. So can you walk us through how, how you found it? Yes, so I walked down the stairs. Uh, I mean, there was a bit of damage down the steps. That big chunk had been taken out of the marble staircase. Um, on my way down, remnants of what looked like a plant pot or something around it smashed. Walking down into the bar, I could see the damage that Dr. Kipper had told me about a broken ping pong table sort of collapsed onto the floor and lots of glass and broken glass and cans strewn around the bar area. And where exactly was the finger in the bar area? Directly below the bar. I mean, the bar was set up like a conventional bar uh, that stuck out from a wall and with a marble top, uh, there's a big chunk out of that as well, like on the st staircase. Directly at the end of the bar, there was a scrunched up piece of kitchen paper, if you like, tissue, um, with lots of blood around it, on it. So I thought that was probably a pretty good place to look. And it, it was within that scrunched up piece of paper on the tiled floor at the end of the bar the base of the bar by one of the bar stools. Was there any property damage around the finger? Yes, uh, a fair bit. Uh, on the floor around the area, there were puddles of what smelled like alcohol to me. There were, it seemed like several drinking glasses, a couple of bottles. One was a Stolichnaya vodka bottle. Um, and at the end of the bar, on the as I said, there was a big chunk out of the bar itself, the bar marble top. Uh, at the end of that, the bar, there was plaster damage right at the end of the bar on the wall. Uh, behind the bar, it smashed and cracked. Mirror, there was a blue mirror that, that stretched that whole span of behind the bar. Lots of cans again behind the bar on the floor. Broken window at the end of the bar and more plastered work damage on the wall above the sink. It was sort of a kitchenette bar, if you like, as well. You mentioned a bottle of vodka. Was the vodka bottle intact? No. No, nothing was really intact. The, the top of it, you know, the top of a bottle was like, it had a label on it, which is how I knew it as a Stolich Naya bottle. It had that sort of squiggly S, um, sort of yellow, top. The, there was a large chunk of a bottle, which I guess was the rest of that, and several other, I mean, lots of other broken glass around the area. After you found the fingertip in the bar area, what did you do next? Well, I gathered it up in that kitchen paper and sort of took it upstairs. I might have shouted up to David Kipper, I found it, um, I'm not sure, but I, I walked back upstairs to the kitchen and put it, got a bag, you know, a little, um, little plastic bag, put the fingertip in there, set it on top of some ice in, in this plastic kitchen container, 
and pretty much handed it over to David Kipper and Jerry Judge, I think, at the time, who were keen to get it to the hospital quickly to see if it could be reattached. Do you recall about what time you found Mr. Depp's finger in the bar area? It was about an hour after I got there, so it would have been around 3.30, I would think, 3.20, 3.30. Now, you've told us a little bit about the state the house was in when you arrived. Yes. Um, can you generally describe for us and maybe go level by level through the house um, what damage you observed? Sure. Do you want me to start at the lower ground floor in that bar area? I mean, I've described a lot of that. Sure, that's fine. It, it was pretty extensive down there, all that broken glass, the blood. There are a lot of blood drips across that floor. It is a kind of cream-colored tiled floor in that whole games area. As I said, the ping pong table was collapsed. Blood drips across the floor and around the, the bar. Uh, and the damage on the walls, as I said, the plaster work at the end of the bar, behind the bar. And the, the chunk out of the marble top so on the ground, that was the predominant damage in that, in that area, on that level. On the next floor, on the main floor where David Kipper was, in, in the kitchen itself, again, a few broken glasses and cans on the floor, soda cans behind the kitchen island, the chef's kitchen island, liquid sort of puddles. Um, there was a sitting room with a couch on a cream-colored couch, which had a fair amount of blood drips on the cushions and that you know that was obvious the uh, TV which was directly in front of that wall mounted TV was cracked with it seemed like remnants of a coffee cup embedded in some of it and the rest was below looked like coffee splattered a cr behind and underneath the TV and on the floor as well uh, through there we'd set up an art studio if, um, so a lot of the art materials from that, you know, paintbrushes, paint, uh, various art materials were on the floor. A lot of paint on the floor, blood drips throughout that area as well, it's especially over the, it was a vast sort of wooden parquet floor. There was a lot of oil paint and blood drips um, up to the staircase. In one of the bedrooms, there were two bedrooms off of, off of the main kitchen area. One of those bedrooms had um, blood drips on the duvet and a lamp had seemingly been broken. The, champ the shade was removed. Uh, there were a couple of lampshades in, that, in the art studio area um, on the floor. Uh, that was about the extent of the damage. Going upstairs to the next level, there was a uh, few blood smears on, on the wall and on the drips of the stairs going up. Again, a cream color carpet, which is not ideal. Um, and so that's the top floor was the master bedroom, master suite floor, and two bedrooms also up there. Um, outside the master bedroom, there was damage to the plaster work on the on a pillar outside on the wall. Um, blood drips into the master bedroom, across the master bedroom floor. Going into the master bathroom, um, there, was, there was a his and hers sink and a mirror, a large mirror above each of the sinks that had writing on, on each of them. Uh, again, that one of the bedrooms, or both of the bedrooms, I think had blood on the duvet covers um, and another lamp was broken. Mr. Depp's guitar was in one of those bedrooms, a bloodstained guitar. Um, his iPad was standing up on one of the beds in, in one of those bedrooms. That's, I mean, that's about the extent of it. That's the damage well, on each it. level, yeah. Whose job was it to clean all that up? It was mine. <laughs> it was mine. My responsibility. The house was 
you know, essentially my responsibility. So you were familiar, were you familiar with the damage generally throughout the house? I got a pretty good idea as I walked around and saw it all, yes. Did you observe any damaged phones? No. Uh, did you observe any damage to a wall where a phone might have been ripped off the wall? No. Bleeding. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe the next one. Okay. <laughs> Was there any artwork in this house? Decorating the house? The owners had left their art in the house, yes. Uh, the, Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd had done some artwork themselves, yes. But, yeah, there, were, there was some that came with the house, if you like. Uh, focusing just on the artwork that came with the house, mm -hmm. um, did you observe any damage to any of that? No, nothing that I needed to re repair or replace. Certainly not, thank goodness. Is there any other damage that comes to mind? Just a lot of blood and a lot of repairs. The floor, as I said, was um, quite heavily with blood and paint. Yeah. And in, in terms of bodily fluids, it was just blood that you observed? No urine or anything else? Yes, absolutely. Right, I'll sustain the strike for the answer from the record. Sir. No other damage. Does any other damage come to mind? No. Can we take a look at uh, Defendant's Exhibit 375, which I believe is already in evidence? Yes. And can we publish this to the jury? Okay. Mr. King, are you familiar with the image that's on the screen in front of you? Uh, yes, that's one of the mirrors I was telling you about in the master bathroom. And so were you involved in cleaning any of this up? I cleaned both of those mirrors that, at some point that, that evening, that night, yes. Were you able to tell what was used or what, what substance the, I guess what, what sort of the ink is that's used on the, on the black writing there? That was the, the same um, oil paint that uh, was on the floor, on the parquet floor downstairs and various other places was the same uh, oil paint. All right, how about the red writing that says, call, Sar call Carly Simon, she said it better, babe. Were you able to tell what was used to, to make that writing? Uh, lipstick, Injection I believe. Foundation. Oh. Uh, Injection foundation. He's testified that he was cleaning it up. Uh, I'll allow it, that's fine, go ahead. It certainly seemed like lipstick to me, red lipstick. It was quite waxy, I remember taking that off. Um, it, it seemed like lipstick. Okay, we can take that down. Mr. King, about how long were you at the house on uh, on that Sunday? Quite a long time. Um, it, it actually went into the early hours of Monday morning, so at least I got there around 2 in the afternoon of Sunday. I don't think I left there until 2 or 3 o'clock the next morning of the ninth. Over the course of the time that you were there that day, did you have any interactions with Ms. Hurd? Yes, I certainly did. Yes. Can you describe those for us, please? Yes, uh, not too much initially. She was very, as I said, quite hysterical and crying a lot, and Jerry Judge was taking care of, of her, keeping her calm. Uh, later in the evening, it was... It was suggested that Ms. Hurd go to a, a local hotel uh, to, to leave the house, go to a local hotel, which then became a suggestion that she go back to LA. And that's, I think, when I started interacting um, in terms of, at some point, I volunteered to, to travel with her to LA. How did Ms. Hurd respond to the suggestion that she leave uh, Los and uh, leave for Los Angeles. She was resistant to both of those suggestions. Uh, very resistant. She really didn't want to go and said, "I can't leave. I can't leave. You know, it'll be the end if I leave." Um, those sorts of things. And so it was just it. It these went went over a few hours. Um, there was negotiations, if you like, uh, and eventually. 
Miss Heard agreed that I would fly with her. And did you, in fact, fly with her? I did, on Monday the 9th. Okay. Uh, sticking with Sunday, um, when you were interacting with her on, on that Sunday, um, were you, how close were you to her? Very close, you know, like, like, very close, in front of her. And do you recall observing any injuries on Miss Heard? No, none whatsoever. Did you notice anything unusual about her physically at all? No. The, I mean, she was obviously crying a lot. She had red eyes, and, um, but no, otherwise no. Okay. So what happened the following day, that, that Monday, uh, March 9th, I guess it would be, 2015? Right. So, I mean, it was eventually agreed that I would fly with Miss Heard, so I... I had to, at some point, go back to my apartment, drive to my apartment to pick up my passport, which, funnily enough, I hadn't brought with me, um, and some clothes, you know, a, a bag to take. So I think I, I left the house early hours, as I said, two, three, may have been a bit later, a.m. I drove back to my apartment, which was 30 minutes drive south, picked up those things. I mean, I didn't know what I was how long I was going to go for, but I knew I was traveling, so passport, quick shower, pick up a bag of clothes, and I drove back up to the house. Um, I, I don't recall exactly what time I arrived there, but I know we had to leave. All the arrangements were being made by the travel agent, and Jerry Judge was liaising with them to make the flight arrangements, and that, which I believe was going mid, mid to late morning. Um, so I think we had to leave the house around 7 or 8 a.m. that morning, Monday the 9th. And did you travel to the airport with Miss Heard? Yes, we, yes, we were driven. How would you describe her demeanor that morning? Um, calmed down a, a fair bit. Um, she was mostly on the phone, to be honest, for, for pretty much the whole of that car journey to various people, one of which I believe was Mr. Depp. Okay. Do you recall her saying anything on the ride to the airport about what had happened the night prior? Nothing really sus mentioned in that as way of an explanation, no. What happened when you got to the airport, if anything? We were running a bit late, but uh, I, I remember that. Um, luckily, we were traveling first class, so the driver knew to, to pull up to a, a, a kind of VIP, for want of a better word, VIP check-in point. Um, and so the car got pretty close to where the desk was. Miss Herb was still on the phone. And so I, we'd sat there for a bit with the driver and, and Miss Heard was talking. I don't know who to at that point. And I was thinking, oh, we need to make this flight actually pretty soon because we were already running a bit late so I decided to go in maybe I can go in check in our bags ahead and then come back and get Miss Heard she should be finished by then which is what I did and did you eventually get on the plane eventually we did it was a close call to be honest once you were on the plane um did you have any conversations with Miss Heard? Yes, I mean, not, not initially, which took some time in the bathroom. She was on the phone again to the point where the cabin crew had to sort of tap on the door and say, uh, we need to leave now. Everybody needs to sit down. But she did come to sit down, that, you know, after 10 or 15 minutes in there. And so eventually, and luckily, as I said, we were flying first class, which was lovely. She was in the window seat, like, I think it was 1A, 1B, window seat, I had the aisle seat, and uh, finally we could both sit down and um, in way of conversation wasn't a great deal to be honest, I did sort of say finally, so what happened, you know, obviously referring to the house, and I mean she didn't give much explanation if any, she did say um, Ben, have you ever been so angry with someone you just lost it with them? 
Um, uh, and I sort of said, uh, no, actually, I'm pretty calm, you know, even-tempered guy. Um, but she did repeat it. She looked pretty incredulous that I hadn't. And she repeated it. You mean you've never lost it with somebody, got so angry with someone, you've just lost it with them? And I said, no, unless you count the sort of time when I was 14 years old and I hit the light switch in my bedroom because I wasn't allowed out that night or something. With a person, no, never. And that was pretty much the end of the conversation. She dropped it then. How would you describe her tone when she asked those questions of you? To me, incredulous, would be fair to say. Surprised that I hadn't lost it with somebody. Does anything else stand out about that flight? It was fairly calm. After that, it was calm. But, I mean, we were both exhausted. Um, I certainly was. And I think I can't remember eating even. Just slept most of the, the flight um, until, obviously, we landed or were close to landing. Uh, at any point, did you observe anything about Miss Heard physically on that flight? Yes, I did. Uh, right toward just before we landed, I noticed some marks on her, on her arm, her left forearm. And how would you describe those? Um, long, kind of uniform, evenly spaced, sort of long, thin marks. Very uniform, in fact. And when did you first notice those? on the plane towards coming into land, you know, we're gathering the stuff up. I, I noticed them then. Okay. What did you do after you landed in Los Angeles? Once I'd fired up my phone um, on landing, uh, I, I saw the arrangements that we would be picked up by one of Mr. Depp's security personnel, who I, I think was Travis McGiven. McGovern? McGiven. Um, so, I made contact with him, and he met us in the place that had been arranged. We walked through the, you know, the arrivals lounge and met him at the end of that. Got in the car with him, and uh, drove to the Eastern Columbia building. And how did Miss Heard? How would you describe Miss Heard's demeanor in Los Angeles? Yeah, pretty calm. I mean. Um, She seemed, I mean, obviously a lot calmer from the house, but uh, she pleasant towards Travis, certainly in the car. Obviously, they knew each other. Um, she was, we, when we got to the building, she was kind enough to show me around the, the apartment I'd never been before. She showed me around the penthouse, the little tour. She wrote down some restaurants recommendations because uh, she knew I'd be staying a few days, probably. So, and I, didn't, I don't really know LA that well. So she recommended a few restaurants. Um, I, and then I, I left, I said, if you need anything, as usual, as I always did, need anything, give me a shout. I'll be staying fairly close by. Just, just give me a call or a text. How long were you in LA? Uh, less than a week. I think I flew back to Australia on the 14th or 15th. So about five days, six days tops. And when you got back to Australia, what were you doing? Pretty much putting the house back together, um, repairing all the damage with the help of professional contractors, vendors um, I brought in, and just getting the house back as it, as it was originally. At some point, did Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard return to Australia? Yes, they did. Um, were you there when they, when they returned? Yes. Did you observe them interacting with each other after they came back to Australia? Yes, yeah. And how would you describe their interactions? Again, initially, those first few days were certainly very pleasant, almost honeymoon-like, I would say. Um, it, it strolled around the grounds a bit and they seem seem fine with each other. 
Did you ever observe any arguments after they returned? Yes. I mean, many. I mean, Several more, yeah. And how would you describe those? Uh, not dissimilar to the London arguments in terms of the pattern of those, um, you know, the sort of provocation and the reaction that leave the room, Mr. Depp leaving the room, going to another room, playing his guitar, seemed to follow the same pattern as that, um, as I witnessed those two times in London. All right. Nothing further. All right, cross-examination. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so oh, to understand your testimony, is it your testimony that Amber and Mr. Depp arrived together in Australia in February of 2015? Initially, I, together I don't think so. I think Mr. Depp arrived at, ahead of Ms. Right, Heard, Mr. Heard, actually. Mr. Depp arrived first, correct? I think so, yeah. And isn't it true that Ms. Heard, Amber didn't arrive until March 5th? 2015 to Australia. I can't remember the date she arrived, to be honest. But she could have arrived March 5th, 2015. Isn't that true? Objection, foundation, speculation. I'll allow it if you can answer it. Sorry, what was the question? Ms. Heard could have arrived on March 5th, 2015, correct? It's possible, I suppose. And isn't it true then that you didn't see any arguments between Ms. Heard and Mr. Depp before the injury that occurred to Mr. Depp's finger in Australia? Uh, I saw them argue. You saw them yes. argue when they came mm -hmm. back, when they came back in April, correct? I certainly saw them argue in April and through most of the months they were there, yes. But you, but you don't remember, you can't recall any arguments in February or March of 2015 between Ms. Heard and Mr. Depp, correct? Specific days, not necessarily, no. Right, so that you don't know, you can't say that there were any arguments before you came to the house on March 8th, 2015, correct? I th think there were, I mean, Excuse me, say that again? I think there were. But you don't even know when she arrived, correct? Specifically, that the day, uh, not necessarily, no. Okay. And you said when you arrived at the house on March 8th, um, when you eventually found the finger, it was wrapped in paper, is that right? Wrapped, I mean, it was loosely wrapped. The paper would open by that point. The blood had dried up, and it was sitting in, in the sort of nest of this paper, yes. So, like, someone had put the finger in a piece of paper? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it was in that piece of paper. It was in a piece of paper, okay. So, but again, like someone had wrapped it up, is that right? I don't, I don't know. It was within that scrunched-up piece of paper, kitchen okay. paper, tissue. So it was in kitchen paper, is that right? Well, tissue oh. paper, it was white with a lot of blood on it. So like a paper towel? Like a piece of kitchen towel. Uh, when kitchen you say paper. kitchen towel, uh, our language is made, <laughs> even though we both speak English, I may stay a little different. It's like a paper towel? Um, yeah, like kitchen paper, kitchen towel. Yes, okay. like a tissue. And was there that sort of paper towel in the, in the kitchen at the house at the time? Yes, in both areas, the kitchen and the, and the bar. Okay. Um, you said you were in um, Australia starting in February of 2015, correct? Correct. I arrived on the 4th of February. And Mr. Depp arrived sometime after that, is that right? Correct. Okay. Did you see um, Marilyn Manson while you were there? No, I didn't. You don't know if Mr. Depp was with Marilyn Manson at, in early, late February, early March 2015? Objection, I foundation, didn't. speculation, relevance. I'm just asking if he saw, if he, he said he saw, how, he said he saw him every day, so I was asking <laughs> if he saw. I'll, I'll allow the question if you can answer it, that's fine. Marilyn Manson didn't come to the house. I, and, I didn't see him at any point. Do you know if Mr. Depp left to be with Marilyn Manson? I don't know. I didn't always know where he was going. If he was went out, it was either to work or the security would go with, I wouldn't generally go. In fact, I don't think I went out with him at all okay. in Australia. And they were, you, you didn't go out with Mr. Depp at all when he was in Australia, correct? I don't recall it. I went to, I saw him on set once or twice, yeah. So you don't know what Mr. Depp was doing in Australia unless he was at, unless you saw him at the house or on set, is that right? I saw him at the house, yes, every day. But you don't know what he, Mr. Depp was doing when he left the house, correct? Generally going to work on Pirates of the Caribbean 5 film, were you, yes. But were you with him? No, but the security with him, and I had to liaise with him for when he would go and when he would come back for the driver, etc. But you weren't there. You weren't there when Mr. Depp left the house, correct? Generally, I didn't go. Okay. Didn't leave the house with Mr. Depp on those days. No. 
And I, I just want to make sure, I want to be clear. There were there were two kind of periods that Mr. Depp was in Australia in 2015, right? Sorry, say again. Mr. Depp was in Australia from sometime in February 2015 until about March 8th, March 9th, when he injured his finger. Is that right? Correct, yeah. And then mm -hmm. Mr. Depp left Australia too, correct? At some point he flew to LA, yes. And then Mr. Depp returned to Australia on April 21st, right? Okay, that sounds about that time. I don't know the specific date, I don't recall. And the filming of Pirates of the Caribbean 5 continued filming on April 21st, right? Objection, that foundation I, speculation. I didn't get, oh, sorry. There's objection. You recall testifying to that in the UK? I'll open Which the objection bit, if you can answer it. That the filming of Pirates of the Caribbean 5 continued filming on April 21st, 2015. I wasn't involved in the filming schedule. I, I didn't know what, when it resumed, to be honest. I knew Mr. Depp would come back to, to resume filming. For sure. You didn't live with Mr. Depp in his house in Australia, correct? Live with? Uh, no, I wasn't resident there. <clears throat> now, when you arrived at the house, you saw a significant amount of damage, correct? Yes, through the course of, yeah, after I arrived, yeah. Okay. And you were, you, the scene was chaos, correct? Chaos, I mean, there was a, a, a fair amount of damage. The house was wrecked? There was a lot of damage in the house, yes. And the house was not in a good state, correct? Asked and There was a lot of oh. damage throughout the you house. You've got to object first, and then if you have your objection, Mr. Yeah. Mahomes. Objection. Stand and it yeah. helps. Okay. I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Next question. Okay. And um, there, you said there was glass on the floor, correct? In a few areas, mainly predominantly in the bar, yes, down in the lower ground floor, correct. Okay, and there was blood on the walls, correct? In various places, blood on the floor, blood on the walls. And uh, there was blood on the walls throughout the three stories of the house, isn't that right? Um, no, I wouldn't say that was the extent of it. There were smears up the staircase going up to the master from the main level. There were smears and drips on the carpet. So there were smears from the master level up to the, up to the bedroom area? I mean, from, from the main level up to the bedroom area, is that right? Up to the third floor, yes. Like someone had walked from the main floor up to the bedroom floor, correct? There was blood going up the stair, up steps, up on the staircase, and some on the walls, you know, smears where you might have done that. Yeah. As if someone was walking from the main level up to the master bedroom, correct? Is that what the blood was like? But yeah, maybe, I don't know. It, okay. Or down. I mean, up or down, but from the, main level to the, up from the main level to the third floor, correct? Correct, yes. Um, and you said the sofas were damaged, is that right? One sofa in that sitting room, which was just off the kitchen, was quite an open plan thing, so off that there was a sofa with a large TV on the wall-mounted TV in front of that sofa. And the sofa was on the main level, correct? Correct, just by the, the main kitchen, exactly. And where the sofa was damaged, was that with, with what? Blood. Blood. Okay. And the were, lights were damaged? Some lamps, a couple of lamps, yes. Okay. And there were bottles of alcohol in and out of the fridge, correct? Sorry, what do you mean? Did you see bottles of alcohol in, in and out of the fridge? Yes. Um, I mean, there was, I, I don't, I, I don't you, completely understand what you mean. You there saw were, that, correct? There was alcohol bottled, yes. Okay. There was, in, in the fridge, I I mean, there would have been a bottle of wine, I don't know. And and the floors were ruined, correct? Ruined, I mean, there was a lot of damage on the floor on the, down in the bar area and the staircase and on the main floor area on the wood, wooden parquet floor, correct? And the floors were going to have to be sanded, correct? I eventually got them sanded, yes. Okay. And it took, you were there, I think you testified it took you about... 12 to 13 hours in the house cleaning up, correct? Correct. And you said that there was, is it your testimony that you didn't see any of the paintings damaged? The existing paintings from the, the owners from the house that, no, none of them were damaged. You didn't see any paintings with a painting of a penis drawn on it? I did not, and thankfully I, that was something I wouldn't, didn't have to replace. Do you know if anyone uh, any else saw painting. that? Objection, speculation. I mean, 
I would have seen it. We know, well, there's an objection to Mr. Oh, King. You just need to stop. That's all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. If you stand, we can see you better when you do that. Understood. Your okay. Point. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. And you said that Jerry Judge was at the house, correct? Correct. And he's the head of Mr. Depp's security, correct? Correct. And Dr. Kipper was at the house? Yes, he was. And Debbie Lloyd was at the house as well, correct? Yes, she was. Okay. Now, you understood that Mr. Judge saw scratches on Ms. Heard on March 8th, correct? Objection, hearsay, speculation, foundation. All right. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Um, did you have, the cleaning lady was going to be coming to the house, correct? The housekeeper? Yes, the housekeeper. Adele, the resident housekeeper. Yes, she was going to be. I mean, yes, she was employed through the week again. She wasn't there on weekends. There was concern about the cleaning lady coming to the house and seeing everything that was in the house, correct? Objection, speculation, uh, foundation. Uh, I'll allow it if you can answer it. You can answer it. Thank you. Uh, concern, sorry. What there was concern mean? about the cleaning lady coming to the house and seeing all the damage that was been, that had been done, correct? I know that when I left to fly to L.A. with Miss Hurd, I told both the chef and the housekeeper they didn't need to be coming to the house um, because Miss Hurd, essentially the principals weren't there, Mr. Depp wasn't there, Miss Hurd was obviously with me at that point, so I said they didn't need to, to come to the house. Isn't it true that you told Mr. Judge that you thought you could get the cleaning lady to swear to silence about what the house looked like? Objection hearsay. It's his own statement. His own statement. I'll allow it. Isn't it true that you told Mr. Judge that you could, thought you could get the cleaning lady to swear to silence about what the house looked like? I think I probably made a comment about, you know, I should just come back and deal with this myself, if that's what you mean, and just get cleaned up. And make sure that she wouldn't say anything, correct? I don't know. Should we trusted? I trusted her and the chef anyway. They were good, good team team members. As the house manager, part of your job is to, you said you work with um, high profile people, correct? High profile, high net worth, I think is what I actually said. Would you agree that one part of your job is to keep things discreet for your clients? Of course, it's part of my job. Okay. Trust and, and discretion. Yeah. And Mr. Depp was your client, right? I worked on an assignment on those occasions, yes. But I was self-employed at the time. Yeah. But in March 8th, 2015 in Australia, Mr. Depp was your client, correct? Correct, okay. essentially, yeah. And Miss Hurd, both of them the principals. Who paid, and do you know how, who paid your, for your services? As I said before, I was paid through Disney, who were making the Pirates of the Caribbean, their production company, which I believe was called Herschel. Okay. And can we put up um, Defendants Exhibit 377? Um, which, I, which is already in evidence. Uh -huh. Mr. King, do you see Defendants Exhibit 377 in front of you? I do, yes. And do you recognize this as a lampshade that was in the house in Australia on March 8th, 2015? Yes, it was, I believe, one of the lampshades that was missing from one of the lamps. Okay. And, and you saw, did you see this uh, painting on the, on the lampshade? I did, yeah. It was part of my walk around to okay. see and what... And, and what floor was the lampshade on? This was on where the art studio was, on that main level. Yeah, so on the main level, okay. Yes. Um, Excuse me. And was this... Was this uh, did you notice that it was dark paint that was on the uh, lampshade? It certainly looked like it, yes. Okay. Um, and did you take this picture? I believe I did. Okay. I, I, yeah, without seeing the metadata. But okay. And can we put up Defendant's Exhibit 374, please? And you recognize uh, Defendant's Exhibit 374 as a mirror that was in the house in Australia on March 8th, 2015, correct? Yes, I do. And this mirror was in the bathroom, correct? 
Correct. There were two mirrors in the bathroom above each sink. And this was on the, the top floor, correct? The master bathroom, the master essentially. Bathroom. And the master bathroom, just so I'm clear, was on the top floor, Top right? floor, correct. Right. And this uh, painting said starring Billy Bob. Is that, is that right? Is that what you recall? Um, yeah, I don't know. I was writing. Okay. Um, and was this in, was this in uh, the writing, was it in paint? I believe it was the same paint, the oil paint that was used on the other mirror that we saw earlier. Okay. And did you take this picture? Again, possible. I, I haven't seen the metadata, but okay. yes, probably. And, and let's put back up uh, Defendant's Exhibit 375. This, this writing was, all, was also in the master bathroom, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay. And could you tell if the black paint was on top of the red or, or under the red? I didn't really analyze it, to be honest. I just knew I was going to have to clean it up at some point. Right, your whole concern was just cleaning up, clean, cleaning up the house, correct? Correct. Okay. And you don't know who wrote what on, this, on the mirror, correct? No, I know okay. that one was oil paint and the, and the other red writing was lipstick. And, and lipstick, you're not even sure of that. You just saw it was something sticky. Is that right? I'm pretty sure it's waxy, you know, like lipstick-like, um, same as the oil paint was oil paint-like. Okay. Did you see paint? Did you see also any writing in blood? Um, writing? Not, no, not necessarily. No? Okay. Now... Did you help when when Miss Heard was um, leaving to go um, back to L.A.? Uh, you were you were with her, correct? Correct. Did you help her pack? I think I may have done at that point. Yes, I think I did. Did you see were weren't weren't Miss Heard's clothes ruined? Well, I didn't see any ruined clothes. There wasn't paint on her clothes. Not that I could see. Not so much. Um, yeah, not not at that point of packing. I mean. There was paint in the tub, correct? Say again, sorry. There was paint in the tub in the bathroom, correct? I don't recall that. You don't recall one way or the other? I don't recall being paint in the tub. And it's your testimony that there was no paint or blood on Ms. Hurd's clothes, is that what you're saying? Asked and answered. I don't. <coughs> no, I'll allow it. Okay. Now, um, you, you said you were in charge of the cleanup, correct? Yes, it was my responsibility. Um, the house was. And you were working with Mr. with Mr. Judge and um, cleaning up the house. Is that right? On the the night that I the day that I arrived there, yes. Mr. Judge did help me at some point. Yes, okay. sweeping up glass, etc. And were there were there was there photos taken of more than the three th three pictures you've sh been shown? Photos. Photos by of the house. By whom? Did you take any pictures of the house? I took a few, yeah. I mean, I, yes. And uh, did you take pictures other than the three that we saw? I think I probably did as I was going around. Do you know who you gave those pictures to? No. Do you know what you took the photos with? My phone. And who would you have sent those pho photos to? And send them to anybody at you that just, point. You just kept them? Yes. Did you show the photos to anyone? No. Do you still have the photos? Yes. They're on, they're on, where are they on your phone still? They're on my, one of my devices, yes. Okay. Did you take um, a photo of the vodka bottle that you said was broken? Yes. And you have that photo? Yes. Okay, and you didn't, but you didn't give that to anybody? There were a fair few photos. I can show it to you now if you want. How, how many photos did you have on your phone? I don't remember the number, but probably more than 10. Did anyone ever ask you for the photos? Several of them, yes. I was, yes. Did you give them to? Did you give them to the people who asked? Some of them, yes. Not all of them. I don't recall how many. Who asked you for the photos? Um, oh, I was involved in, in a case, in London, uh, a couple of years ago. Did you give the photo of the vodka bottle to the people, that you were involved in the case in London? Uh, objection, relevance, Your Honor. Overruled all that. Say again, sorry. 
did you give a photo of the vodka bottle to the people you were working with in London? I don't recall which photos I it sent. Gave them. What other? So did you take photos of um, the walls? The walls that certainly the smears on um, the blood and the damage, the plaster damage. Yes. You took so you, you took photos of the walls with blood on it. Is that right? Yes. And you took photos of the, the plaster, right? That was damaged. At the end of the bar and the in the bar behind the bar by the and, sink. Yes. And did you take photos of the um, ping pong table that you said was broken? Yes, as part of the bar area. I'm did sure. Did you take photos of? There was a glass table that was broken too. Correct. The glass table. I don't recall the glass you, table. Okay. Did you take photos of all the damage that was around the house? Probably most of it, yes. Okay. And the only time you gave those photos to anyone you're saying was in the UK case a couple years back? I'd never shared them with anybody else, yes. Okay. And it costs between, it costs about $75,000 to clean up the damage, isn't that right? I don't know the exact cost. I, I think we, I calculated at the time, you know, after all the vendors had been in and done their thing, it's about 50,000, I seem to recall. Okay. Now, you, you said you flew back to, to Australia with Ms. Hurd, correct? I didn't fly back with Ms. Hurd. I mean, Hurd. flew back to LA from Australia, thank you with Ms. Hurd, correct? Correct. Okay. And you were asleep for most of the flight, correct? For a lot of it. I think it's a 14-hour flight, so I think we both slept for quite a lot of it, yeah. Uh, and you were exhausted from the 13 hours you were working on the house, right? Correct. All right. And your testimony was that Ms. Hurd said to you, have you ever been so angry with someone that you just lost it, correct? After I'd asked, so, you know, what happened? But you didn't, you, you didn't inquire as to what she was referring to, right? I, I mean, by what happened, it was pretty clear what I was referring to. Let me ask again. You did not inquire as to what she was referring to, did you? With her answer? Correct. She didn't inquire as to my reason for asking, but it was pretty obvious to both of us what I was asking and what her reply was regarding. Yes, that's fine, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. King, you testified on behalf of Mr. Depp in the UK, correct? Correct. And you provided two witness statements, correct? Correct. And then you provided testimony in court, correct? Correct. Okay. And if you take a look at page 1103 of your testimony, uh -oh. you see how the pages go in fours? Yeah. No. Nope. You see, it's actually on the um, bottom right. Bottom right. You see that? Yeah, got it. And if you actually look at, um, you see, it's starting at the bottom of 1102, there is. This was a statement when you said you did not. Um, you say, Ms. Hurd asked you, have you ever been so angry with anyone that you lost it? Your answer, that's correct. And you specifically remember that, do you? Yes. You said it never happened to you. Answer, that is correct. Question, she did not, I mean, it was. if it was said, nothing was said about who she was talking about, was it? Answer, she was asking me a question. Question, she was asking you a question. Answer, yes. 
question, you did not inquire as to what she was referring to, did you? I did not, I do not recall asking. I know that she was asking for a question and I gave her an answer. You see that? Yes. Okay, and that yes. was your testimony you gave in the UK uh, two years ago, correct? Yes. Okay. So you don't know what, and you don't know what Ms. Hurd was talking about when she made that statement, correct? You don't know if she was like, inquiring that she was making that statement about Mr. Depp, right? Like I said, I'd asked the question, what happened, referring to the house, um, and she gave me that answer. So I think we were both, it was pretty clear to both of us what we were talking about. I mean, and then you went to sleep at, at that point. And then you went, and then you went to sleep, and then you had the flight the rest of the time. Sometime after that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, and you said you saw Miss Heard with cuts on her arm, is that right? On the That's flight? right, towards the end of the flight, yeah. Okay. If we could put up 376G. Do you recognize th this picture? I've not seen this picture before. W were, these the cu were these the cuts? Did, did you see cuts like this on Ms. Hurd? Is that Ms. Hurd? Why don't we put up 376C? You recognize the person in that picture? That's Ms. Hurd. All right, and did you see cuts like that which are on her left arm? Similar to that long, like I described earlier, long, thin cuts, um, pretty uniform cuts. These were the cut, it, it was the cuts were like this on her kind of wrist forearm area, is that right? I don't know what the date of this photograph is, but they look pretty uniform like they do here, yes. Like to enter uh, 376C into evidence? Any objection? Uh, no, no objection. Okay, 376C in evidence. What's that? Nope, thank you, Ginger. And can we put back up 376G? Seeing 376C, is this consistent with the scratches on 376G, or are these consistent with the scratches you saw on Ms. Hurd? I don't see a date. Is that the same time? Is that the same date? Oh, my, I mean, my question are, is, are the scratches similar to what you saw on Ms. Hurd? These are uniform, kind of long, thin scratches, yes. Cuts, I'd like to enter scratches. 376G into evidence. Any objection? I mean, foundation, he hasn't authenticated the document through this witness. I mean, I'm just asking if the pictures are consistent with How what he's... about 376G in evidence? And can you publish it, please? It is. Thank you. Okay. Now, you were in the house, you said, for 12 to 13 hours on March 8th, 2015, correct? Correct, going into March 9th, 2015. Okay. And you spoke to Mr. Judge when you were in the house, correct? You yes. had interaction with Mr. Judge, yes. And you had interaction with Dr. Kipper when you were in the house, correct? Correct. And you had interaction with Debbie Lloyd when you're in the house, correct? Yes, briefly. Okay. And isn't it true that in the entire time you were there, you were not informed as to what caused damage to Mr. Depp's hand on finger on March 8th? Objection, hearsay. I'm asking what he wasn't told. I'll sustain the objection, next question. 
you didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Well, uh, rejection, hearsay. Here's Wait, you, you asked the question. Oh, oh. Next question. Okay, you said he sustained a, an injury to his finger. Yes. But you don't know what caused the injury to his finger. One correct? of his fingers. But you don't know what caused, you don't know how his finger was injured, correct? I don't think anybody mentioned it to me at that time. Right, no one mentioned it to you at that time, correct? Same objection, really Your Honor, course. hearsay. Sorry, I'll allow it. Next question. He answered it. Now, you understand that there was um, a phone in the house that was recording during the cleanup, correct? Sorry, I didn't hear all of that. Did you come to understand that there was a phone in the house that was recording as people were cleaning up? Um, at that time, no. But you now, you now know that there was a phone that was recording people as they were cleaning up, correct? Uh, Objection. Foundation hearsay. I'm not asking for a particular statement. No, that's just fine. I'll allow it if he knows. I believe that came up somewhere later on. At that time, I wasn't aware, but I believe I became aware of it later, yes. Okay. Um, I would like to um, uh, put up uh, Defendant's 378. It's a uh, recording, and I want to uh, play a couple of times. 1207 through 1319. Is that the only, only segment you wish to have? And then I would also use, I'd also like to play 1951 through 2138. And is, is this going to be used again, or is this? Um, I, I think it would be A. Okay, 378A. Any objection to 378A? Yes, Your Honor, we do have an objection. I believe this is a recording that has the voices of people other than Ms. Hurd and Mr. Okay. Depp, and on that basis, it's hearsay. Okay. Unless I'm incorrect about which document we're talking about. Uh, can we, can we approach? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, Defendant's 378, Defendant's Sorry about that. Um, going back to the um, photos that you took for a moment um, of that of that damage in the house, you recall giving that testimony? Yes. Okay. Did Mr. Depp ask you for the photos? No. Did you give the photos to counsel for Mr. Depp? Some of them, yes. Yeah. Did you withhold any photos for Mr. Depp or his counsel? I didn't withhold any photos from from anybody. I didn't withhold. Did you give all the photo? Did you give all of the photos you have on your phone to Mr. Depp and his counsel? Not all of the photos on my phone. No. All the photos of the damage that occurred on March eighth, twenty fifteen. Probably not all of them. I don't think so. No. You didn't give them all. You didn't give them all to Mr. Depp and his counsel. I don't believe I gave all of the photos. Why not? Because there are. Uh, decent amount of them, but, I mean. So you, you picked and cho chose what photos you were going to give to Mr. Depp and his counsel? I, I gave a, an amount of photos to them. Do you know how many photos you gave to Mr. Depp and his counsel? I don't know precisely, no. Can you give an estimate as to how many photos you gave? I really can't, no, I, you know, an amount, I, I don't recall how many. More than three? Yes. More than 10? Possibly more than 10. Yeah, I, yeah, maybe. Between 10 and 20? 
objections. Possible. I, I mean, <laughs> 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 overruled. I'll allow it. Do you know? Sorry, she, I, uh, she overruled you. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, possibly more than ten. Yeah. So, but somewhere between 10 and 20, is that right? Possibly. I honestly don't know. Could it be more than 20? I, I don't think so. Did Mr. De did Mr. Depp's counsel ask for all the photos? I, I don't recall. You don't recall one way or the other what they asked for? I gave them some photos. <laughs> I, I, I don't recall how many or how many were asked for, requested. And those were, those were requested in 2020? Correct. Prior to prior to the UK, that yes. Trial. Did they ask for him in this case? I believe I supplied some for this case also. Yeah. You supplied photos for this case to Mr. Depp's counsel. I believe I did. Okay. And was that about the between ten and twenty photos that you're talking about? I don't remember how many for this. But it was at the same it was the same amount of photos that you gave to the count the Mr. Depp's counsel in the UK. I don't know if it was the same amount. I, did, I don't recall. Did Mr. Depp's counsel in this case ask for all the photos you had of the damage of March 8th, 2015? All of the photos? I don't think they requested all of the photos. They didn't ask for all the photos you had of that damage. I, I don't know if they requested them all. Was it Mr. Waldman who asked you for the photos? Originally, I don't remember who called it. Shillings were the... Did Mr. Waldman ever company. ask you for the photos? I don't know if he asked me specifically. I, if he was part of the, that team, I, I assume, so... And you spoke, you, you, spoke, you spoke to Mr. Waldman, is that right? I did a couple of years ago, yeah. Okay, and, and he was part of the team that was asking for the evidence you had of what occurred in Australia in 2015, is that right? He was part of that team, as I understood it. Yeah. Okay. And and as part of that team, he would he and others were asking for all the were asking for photos from Australia from March 8th, 2015. Is that right? They requested them at some point. Some and, of them. And you provided, and that's when you provided the 10 to 20 photos. And is that right? The photos, correct. Okay. And then was there a separate counsel that asked you for the photos in this case? Uh, yes. There was. Yeah, I mean, was it, it was essentially it that, the same. Who was it that photos? asked you for photos in this case? I don't recall a, a name specifically. Was it a man or a woman? I, I don't I just, part of the team, I, I don't recall. Okay. <clears throat> and when did they make that request? When? I, I don't know a date. I don't know specifically. Do you know what year? Um... <laughs> this year, last year? I mean, prior so, to this, obviously. So it, it could have been in 2022 that they asked you for the photos? Uh, I think it was prior to that. I don't recall. So may, maybe late 2021 or early 2022, is that what you're saying? I honestly don't recall which part of the year. But in either 2021 or 2022, is that right? I would imagine that's probably correct. Okay. And you, get, and you, gave, them all, you gave them some of the photos you had? As I just said, yes. Okay, but not all of them. Correct. So do you have more than 10 to 20 photos on your phone of the damage that occurred in Australia? Again, I don't recall it, the amount. But you have a larger amount on your phone than what you provided to Mr. Depp's counsel. Uh, objection, right? Your Honor. Ask and answer. I'll cumulative. I'll sustain the objection. I was asked and answer. Okay. Um, going to London for a couple minutes. You didn't, you didn't live at the house in London, correct? I didn't live there, correct. Okay. Do you know if Miss Hurd had friends over uh, to the house in London? She did. They came to stay. Um, yes. And they stayed for they stayed from September 9th through September 22nd, 2014, correct? I don't remember the duration, but that's that's possible. Okay. And they were staying. They were they were literally staying at the house, correct? They were accommodated at the house, correct? Right. And so. You don't know who was drinking the bottles of wine that were brought into the house, correct? At which point? What, what do you mean? When Miss Hurd's friends were there, you don't know who was drinking the, the wine. Oh, they were all enjoying the wine, for sure. They were all drinking the wine. They, they would, I took care of them as I would take care of any guests that came into any house. And wasn't it five to seven guests that were at the house with Miss Hurd? 
I don't remember the number, it sounds about right. Okay, and then, and then at the end of the night, there was one or two bottles of wine finished, right? When Mr. Depp and Miss Heard were there on their own, there was certainly that amount, yes. But do you know how many, you don't know how many, you, you don't know how many bottles were there when it was Miss Heard and her friends, correct? I would say more. You don't know, but you don't know one way or the other, right? I don't recall the count, but certainly more than when there were just two of them in the house because you there don't know, were seven you don't, extra people or five people. But extra. you don't know the count? Precisely, no, I don't. And you, do you know how much time Miss Heard was in London with Mr. Depp, not with her friends? A fair amount of that time. Well, what, I what don't do you, recall days, so, no, I don't recall. So they were there for a month, correct? Uh, thereabouts, yeah. And I mean, when I say they, Miss, Miss Heard and Mr. Depp were in London for about a month, right? Correct, okay. around about a month. And wasn't it true that for about two to three weeks, Miss Heard's friends were also staying in London? I don't think two or three weeks. I, I don't recall, but I don't think it was that long. You don't know one way or the other, right? I don't think it was that long. But well, you, you don't have anything to base that on, right? Just your, what your memory is saying? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> and you don't know what happened in London when you weren't there, correct? You mean after I'd left for, of an evening? Usually the chef was there still when I left each evening, Russell, um, who would take care of dinner and leave later that each night. And then after they, the chef left, you don't know what happened in the house, correct? I wasn't there. Right. And you don't know for certain whether Mr. Depp drank wine or not in London, right? I don't believe so. There's usually, when it was just the two of them in the house, there was usually only one glass in the morning, either on the kitchen sink or on the bedside stand in the master bedroom. But you don't know who drank from that you don't know who drank from that glass when you weren't there, right? When I wasn't there, correct. But when I usually left the house, I'd already poured Miss Heard a glass of wine before I left, invariably. But once you left, you don't know if Mr. Depp drank wine or not, correct? And that, I, right. wasn't, I wasn't there when I, after I left. Okay. Um, and you don't know what started the fights you, you talked about in London, correct? Other than that one you said you heard about her hand. The second one that I described, I was in the vicinity. I heard the first comment of this. That was the start of that argument. And you don't actually know if there was an argument before they, before what you heard, right? Oh, that evening, I didn't hear another one. I'll put it that way. It started in that room, as I described earlier. And, and you don't know what happened in Australia also between March 5th and March 8th, correct? The 6th. I left on Friday the 6th was when I left for the weekend. Okay, so between Friday the 6th and when you got to the house on March 8th, you don't know what happened. In the... I wasn't there. Okay. And you never saw Miss Heard be violent at any time, right? Sorry, say again. You never saw Miss Heard be violent at any time, correct? Beyond sort of finger prodding and uh, violent, I didn't see either of them be violent towards each other. You never saw Miss Heard be violent at any time, right? I didn't see her be violent, depending on your... I can show you a witness statement where you said you never saw Miss Heard be violent at any time. Okay. Violence, if, yes, I didn't see violence per se. All right, thank you. I have nothing to say. All right, redirect. Thank you. Mr. King, have you ever been employed by Mr. Depp? No. So in each of these situations where you've been around Mr. Depp, you've always been employed by somebody else? Yes, Correct. All right. That's That's sustain us to leaving. Strike the answer. Next question. Are you based anywhere other than the UK? Yes. Where, do you, where do you live? I live in central London. Have you ever lived anywhere else? Sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. We heard some discussion on cross about photos, which I suspect you remember. Um, why did you take the photos of the property damage in Australia? As I do, and a lot of my jobs in various assignments and jobs are, through the years, I take photos as points of reference um, for whatever reason. I mean, if I'm packing suitcases up um, and they're going to be in transit and I'm not with the suitcases I'll take a picture of contents and when I send 
stuff so I know it's gone and what's gone. Um, I take pictures as points of reference. I sometimes take pictures of table settings that I've done or uh, which I know I can use later on to, as reference. Were the photos of property damage in Australia the first photos that you had taken um, in the course of um, working with Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard? Objection leading. All right, I'll sustain us to leading. Next question. Had you ever taken photos before? Yes. Um, had you take, what kinds of things had you taken photos of? Um, in London, reference points and d dinner table settings, um, sometimes Mr. Depp would write notes for Miss Heard. He'd leave notes um, on the on the sort of kitchen table when he left for work. I, I believe I took pictures of those. They were, you know, there. Things like that. Just setups of once I set up houses, it's always good to take photos of rooms so so I can cross reference later on if I need to. Did Ms. Hurd or her counsel ever ask you for photos of any of the photos you took in Australia? No. Uh, I'll stand as deleting. Next question. Can I see plaintiff's exhibit 159? And I think this is a multi-page document. Can you scroll through? I think we have three pages here. Mr. King, do you do you recognize this this uh, document? Yes, it's the floor plan of the house in Australia. And do you recall on on cross examination, you were asked to kind of describe where some of the property damage was? Yes. So right now, on the screen in front of you, yep. um, which floor would you say this is? This is the top floor with the master suite and two other bedrooms. OK. And I, I believe counsel asked you um, if there was blood in one of the bathrooms or, or one of the bathtubs. Do you recall that? Yes, they did ask that. Would that have been on this floor? I, I, I think they were referring to the master tub. I think that's what he said. Okay, so can you mark on the on the screen where that would have been? The master tub is over here. Can I just dot it? How does that you just work? dot it, yes. Okay, so that looks like the master tub to me. And just uh, to clarify, did you did you recall seeing any, any blood or damage there? In the tub, no. Okay. Uh, can you mark for us on the screen where you did see the damage that was discussed on cross? The mirrors, um, what, can I dab on here again? Uh, sure. Yeah, so these are the sinks. The two mirrors were above each, the mirror above each sink. Okay. Can we, can we scroll up uh, to the page prior? And can you, Point out for us on, on, on this page, well, well, first of all, which, which floor is this? This is the, the main level floor, essentially the second floor if you want. Okay. And can you point out for us here on, on this map uh, which of the, where, where the property damage was? Yes. Um, how many dabs am I allowed? <laughs> uh, around here, kitchen area. Um, this was the TV, the wall-mounted TV on, I ran out of dabs. I apologize, actually. Your Honor, can, can we move this into evidence? Um, Any objection to 159? No objection. All right, 159 and in evidence. Can we publish this to the jury? Okay. 
So, Mr. King, I, I apologize for interrupting you. So okay. you, you were just pointing out where on the, I think this is the second floor? Yes, the, essentially the main level, yeah. Okay, so other than these three dots, do you recall any other places where there was damage? Yes, where it says family, family room, uh, there was a, that, the TV was wall mounted on that, that wall in between family and lounge. The sofa was approximately where you've got the red square, uh, red, red rectangle now, facing towards the TV. Uh, the lounge, as you, sorry, too, too quick. The lounge was essentially the um, art studio. And the bedrooms over to the left there, where the lamp, damaged lamp and shade, blood on the uh, duvet, et cetera, that I described. OK, and then let's go to the, the first page. And which floor is this? This is the lower ground floor. OK, and can you point out for us, um, did you find the finger on this floor? Correct. Can you point out to us where you found the finger? Yes, I can. Right here. Ah, there we go. It's the end of the bar. It was on the, the tiled floor below that end of the bar. OK, and any other significant property damage that you want to point out on this, on this floor? Yes, as I said, the, this was the, uh, can I dab again? Yeah, so that was the, the the most part of the broken glass. That's where the Stolik and I bottle was below that bar by the bar stools. There were three bar stools um, that you could sit at there. On this back wall here, there was plaster damage. On Over here above the sink, or to the side of the sink, was more plaster damage on the walls behind the bar that mirror was cracked broken uh, ping pong table was around there collapsed on the floor and around those three dots there I'm going to put another one that was the spillages as well that smelt like alcohol to me the puddles of alcohol Is that it? I mean, that, that was the, the most part of the damage around that area, um, in front of the bar especially. There was, I mean, as I said, there were blood drips around that white cream-colored tiled floor in the, in the games room. And this is the staircase down. It was this side that the, the chip was out of the, the stone step. And if I can get another dab in there, right about in the center of that bar, the, the, the chunk out of the side of the, of the counter, the bar top. Okay. Um, how many exits are there on the ground floor? Well, all of these were, were exits, you know, all these, um, my office was off over here. I think you can just see how it says study, um, big glass sliding door. Uh, the gym had an exit up here. This went into the garage. There was a, a button you could press for the automatic doors to come up. Uh, the laundry area, which is right here, that this this is actually an exit out into the yard, essentially. Um, the gym, all of those rooms had a had an exit. Um, other than uh, other than Mr. Depp's counsel, did anybody else ever ask to see your photos? I'll allow it. No. All right. Uh, nothing further, Your Honor. All right. Is this witness subject to recall? All right, sir, since you're subject to recall, it's important that you do not discuss your testimony with anybody and do not pay attention to the trial and don't watch anything about the trial, okay? Of course. All right, thank Certainly. you. All right, you can step down, sir. Yes, ma'am? Thank ma you.
Ladies and gentlemen, that comes to the end of our day. So we're going to excuse you for the evening. Again, do not do any outside research and don't talk to anybody. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, have a good evening. All right, thank you. And I just have one housekeeping matter. You, uh, we're going through the exhibits you gave me this morning. Thank you again for that. Uh, but one of them was 485, and I have in my notes that it was 485A, just the first page, but you gave me all eight pages. Have you both agreed that all pa pages of this document come in, or is that something that should I give 485 back and you can try again to give it back to me tomorrow? Okay. All right, I'll give that back to you, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right. Thank you. All right, and are we going to start with a remote witness tomorrow? Is that going to be your first witness? All right, make sure she's signed on by 940 so we can have it all set up for 10 o'clock start, okay? All right, thank